Okay, it's a uh, World Youth Skills Day, mm-hmm. and we we're talking about how young people can empower themselves, can get good at networking, can make sure they're up to date with trends that are happening in the world of AI. Man, you need to be on your tippy toes, yes. learning, empowering, um, connecting, networking, all of that. And we have the pleasure of having um, representatives from the African Center for Women, um, Information and Communications Technology, mm-hmm. here to help talk to us about a the work that they're doing in ensuring that young people and women are skilled, mm-hmm. are connected are protected are empowered all those good adjectives that you can think about oh yeah yeah i want them to introduce themselves but i want to give a very very warm welcome with makofia to kaolomide mm-hmm. to esther wanja and thomas ayuaki mm-hmm. <laughs> let me begin with um esther um let me, oh, let me begin with elizabeth um yeah. please come to closer to the microphone so we can hear you a little bit better thank you sana elizabeth um please tell us who you are and what you do well, thank you very much. My name is Elizabeth Wanja. I'm a programs manager in the African Center for Women in ICT. It, we call it I, uh, Aquitair, and I look forward to this show. Thank you. Oh, thank nice. you so much. Um, Thomas, what about you? Thank you. Uh, my name is Thomas Ayuaki, and I work for the Africa Center for Women, Information and Communication Technology as a project lead for all of our digital skills programs mm-hmm. and uh, computer science education. Yeah. All right. You yeah, know. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Karibu Nisana, we're just about to get into some uh, dif- uh, this, uh, deeper into this conversation. And uh, the youth are actually up right now, and they're ready to know what are some of the uh, skills they can grab, what are some of the opportunities they can equally grab. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but first of all, tell us about the work that um, AC... Uh, WICT is doing and ca- some of the programs that you have in place, um, Elizabeth. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, the African Center for Women in ICT, I know most of you might have heard it from our website, mm-hmm. maybe from our intervention, from what we have managed to do uh, here in Kenya. We are an ICT for development organization, have been in existence from 2001, that is over two decades, doing what uh, we can do best with the I- ICT. Uh, Thomas will be sharing about the uh, digital skilling program, but it's important to say that uh, we have managed to reach all the 43 out of 47 uh, counties with our intervention, very passionate about women and youth. And when we talk about uh, women, we are talking about uh, the rural, marginalized, underserved uh, women, and also the youth, the 18 to 35 years. Uh, Thomas takes us through the, the skills that we offer. Thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thomas, what are those um, specific skills that you offer? Yes. So uh, when it comes to our digital skilling uh, portfolio, we uh, for, for a long time now have, ap- um, have applied a multi-layered approach mm-hmm. that focuses on ensuring that uh, everybody is involved at every level. So at the very basic level, we have foundational skills that have a key objective of uh, you know, increasing the digital literacy profile in this country. And uh, f- if I'm being honest, that's where we've trained most of our, um, our beneficiaries. We've trained around 300,000 people so far. And the idea behind that particular space is just to ensure that, um, you know, we equip them with market-relevant digital skills that they can be able to use for their socioeconomic development goals. So you're looking at people interested in marketing, people interested with digital freelancing, and those who just want to learn for purposes of maybe applying it in administrative tasks. Mm -hmm. Then we have our tech-enabled skills. Mm -hmm where we uh, specifically focus on uh, digital skills, but from the point of view of how they can be able to use them to secure meaningful employment. So uh, we focus a lot on project project management and uh, the digital skills that are relevant within that space, administrative professional, and also uh, some of the new things within uh, the artificial intelligence uh, space, such as uh, business analysis, Mm -hmm. among many others. And then... uh, uh, the advanced level, which is where I focus most of my energy on, is where we focus on, uh, you know, uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning, uh, programming, cybersecurity, IT infrastructure, and many others. So at that level is where we'd like to consider it as being uh, those who are now interested in being IT gurus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, we'll get back into the music for now, but when we come back, we'll of course get deeper into this conversation, um, what this day means, how we are marking it, and of course how we are empowering young people and women all around the country. We've got some godly omelet coming mm. your way. Omelet. Mm. 